not reflect the final. Get spot. ready, soldier. Defend the objective. Do not let them take this sector. Hello everybody, welcome back and thank you for tuning in to this amazing episode of the Alpha, my first time playing Delta Force Hawk Ops. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, getting my butt handed really? to me at the same time. It is quite a learning curve for me as, you know, you're playing Fortnite for some time or Call of Duty. This game and the mechanics are in a completely separate area of their own. Why am I not There we go. So as a big supporter of uh nope. Nova Logic <laughs> series, for example, the Delta Force Blackhawk <laughs> Down game which is pretty much my all-time okay, favorite PC game that I've ever played. I gotta say uh, that I'm very happy to see this game come to light. We've been waiting for something like this for a very long time, and it's yeah. been Unless everybody kills everybody, overdue, long overdue. Now, we know Nova Logic got bought out, and things have changed. Engines have changed. Uh, but this game uh, is something that I'm really hoping okay, is going go. to be so the, the game changer for me press, when it comes to gaming as really cool. I've been waiting so long for a Delta Force game. This game seems to handle pretty much like the original, but with a lot of extra toys to it. So, for example, um, there is, of course, there is still vehicles and everything kind of like Task Force. Oh, nice. Uh, but it, the mechanics, oh, okay. like the, see ah. right there, for example, I got okay, killed so because I couldn't I'm run away fast right enough because I had left my scope up. You if you don't unscope, problem. you die. It's if just, you you're too slow. Right to and up, it's kind of, you know, that is a it, it's very somewhat realistic. I mean, shooting someone in the body, shooting someone in the head actually make a big difference on taking them down. Body shots, they can take more of. Headshots, boom, they're dead. So there's one mechanic that is quite insane and intense. Like it, it, it like I'm shooting someone, and of course I'm getting shot by three different guys, and I die, right? Um, but what what I want to get at? This is my first time playing, my first time trying it. It is the alpha, and and honestly, I did not see any bugs. I didn't see any hiccups. I didn't see anything Enemy that I would say this objects. isn't ready for okay. mainstream. The graphics, the crisp, the smoke, the explosions, everything is just so realistic in this game. I am very impressed. Of course, I am lost, even though this map technically is made from one of the games from Black Hawk Down. I'm not 100% that this is the right map or not, but I haven't played that in so long that I wouldn't remember anyway. All right, pulled that off. Also, another great thing here is the medding. The med is back, and and that was very important. In Black Hawk Down, I would be a med and I can't see hold my own in kills. But the idea behind this is we're getting all of the the features that the original Black Hawk Down had, and uh, like here, I'm back up right because I got medded. Did you see the smoke? The detail? 
you're blind like absolutely blind in that but it was just good to see that that feature was back and here i am just trying to figure out crouching and running and then slide and then die Wah! so oh, i oh, wasted oh, time for me being mad but look at all the enemies that. over I there like see that. i came across there was no shooting and and there was nothing but Okay, so here's a perfect example now. I just changed operators. The, the operators don't really make or break the game in that sort of sense. This gun to me, I liked more, but I wanted to try, of course, the different operators out just to see their loadouts and so on. Keep in mind, I'm playing the game. I have not remapped. I have not, so F, for example, is to start to pick things up right now instead of E, which I'm used to from every other game is E. So uh, there was a few things that threw me right off um switching weapons for example threw me a little off it just uh that was just you know nature of the first time playing of course but overall the experience was really good it's very fast paced this i will say it is extremely fast paced so at this point of course it's a learning curve like anybody I just wanted to give this a shot, let you guys know my my, my thoughts right off the hop. And as a first person shooter kind of guy, I'm really liking what they've done. Um, it, 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 I'm got to get used to the maps. Of course, I think they only give us two um, and, and there's another mode and I'll show you that mode now in a moment. Okay, so this is the second mode, of course, or what you would call the first mode, whichever way you want to look at it. It's tactical, and there's havoc. Oh, this is tactical, what we were just so doing was havoc. And now, look, you're seeing that Comanche from Comanche 4, which is awesome. And we're now going to go into a completely different game. So what I mean by that is, now we're going to be picking up guys. This uh, is not tactical, weapons, gear, exactly. helmets, and stuff like this that... I now know I can actually use in the black site That's where I can trade news, stuff right in now, to buy stuff and get better gear and so on. Screen. So, and also I just want to make it clear when I said there's only two maps, that's only because we're in alpha all right, now, and they're not uh, sharing not all sure. of the coolness or whatever that is one. coming. So we probably don't have all the guns. We probably don't have all the vehicles. We probably don't have all of anything. It's just what it is as it is as an alpha test. And I got to say, this is probably the best alpha test I've ever joined where I didn't feel buggy. So this gives you a little tutorial here on um, what you need to do moving forward and getting and showing you how to pick up the gear. Like for example here, come around, of course there's gonna be an enemy, boom, boom, boom. You kill the enemy, you move forward and you'll see that there's a briefcase now on the ground. And in this briefcase, you're gonna get different things, of course, depending on what the search is. And you get to take that stuff. So for example, there's a gun there. There's a helmet, there's some body armor, and so on. And you get to keep that stuff to get rid of or to actually uh, equip, right? So this is what's really cool about that. And I love it. I thought that was a really neat feature. This is not a feature that was in the original. So this is definitely something new. Recon arrow to explore the area. Oh, that is so cool. Enemies detected. Guns up now. Stop! Compete with other operators. 
operators for the scattered high value items. Or once again, being eliminated results in losing all carried items. As the winner, you can collect your spoils. So here's that safe we marked in the map and that what you saw with the scrolling was me cracking the code, which is very simple. You just have to hit the space bar or, or I think it might be left click. And when the, the letter is or number is green, you stop it on each line. And that way you're, uh, you're, you're basically you're cracking this code that you didn't know and it's pretty much just handed to you that way it's kind of neat it's a different thing but what's cool about this and the reason why this feature is neat is the fact that whatever i'm collecting right now of course is mine unless i die as you heard before if you die you lose everything you've collected unless you get it stored back home find the extraction point and move towards it once the countdown is over you'll be safely extracted with the items There may be enemies around the extraction point. Or Stay no. vigilant. <laughs> Take note of the remaining time and make sure to reach the extraction point before the countdown ends. Successfully extracted. Next okay. Next spoils will be tallied. This will be cool. This is cool. Oh, that's neat. Up I go. Extracted. Okay, guys, so here's the Black Ops uh, site, or the Black site, I should say Black Ops. It's stuck in my mind. But here's the Black site that I was talking about, where you now see Munition Planning Operator. Uh, if I go over here, you, you got, you know, hardware, armor, Basically, yeah, really you cool. can trade so your can stuff in with that uh, guy back there guy. and uh, get credit or whatever. I haven't, I didn't try that. I just Kinda know like that. that that's what it's about at this point. And you can literally uh, level up your weapons. Um, from what I've seen from other uh, players or, or other videos I've watched just over the last recent time, just to see some more in-depth stuff that maybe I didn't go over, you're able to calibrate your options so for example you put a scope on you can calibrate the scope you put a muzzle on or or your stock you can adjust your stock it is really in depth probably the most in depth i've ever seen in a first person shooter as far as what you can do now there's give and takes of course if you do one thing you're probably losing on something else but there's a whole bunch of things where it can let you know what's actually going to happen, not just like in Call of Duty, for example, where you just see uh, this gun's a little bit better here, but it's bad here, and, blah, blah, and it's just a line and a graph, whatever. This actually tells you what's going to happen. So, guys, I have to say I'm very happy, and I'm going to continue playing and see if we can, you know, make me look good at some point. But bottom line is I'm very, very excited that this is a game that I get to play try out alpha test and hope hope right. that we have blackhawk down type gameplay and fun that we had almost 20 years ago guys until next time thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this game over